Hello everybody, Imminent Storm here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. In our last episode, we grabbed the rest of the Kingdom of Afghanistan. We also grabbed a little bit of territory down here as well in our you know, push to the east to get to the Indus River. And we went through yet another succession. So we are now running Basilius Nicodemus, the Sword of Jupiter. Alright. So, let's go ahead and unpause things, get stuff moving. Now, I can't create any kingdom titles at the moment because he hasn't ruled for five years yet. So, we won't be able to create the kingdom title for Afghanistan just yet. And I think now that we're coronated, we should be a fairly stable, a fairly stable situation here. Exarch of Persia does not have a very high opinion of me. I might want to try and fix that, actually. Let's grab my diplomat and send him over there. Alright. Oh, somebody died, and I gotta get this uh, kid back educated. Maybe the Exarch of Persia... Leader of the Arabian Revolt? No. He's Persian, but this is my bastard half-brother, so I don't really care. We'll send him off to improve his relations. Ah, my wife is pregnant! Very good. Very good. So I don't want to start taking concubines. Ooh, can you usurp a title? The province of Rashka. Oh, looks like he grabbed a little bit of territory. Yes, let's usurp it. And actually, let's give that province title to this guy here. Yes, I will come. Because then that will give him, basically, claims over this territory right here, so he can fill that out on his own, if he wishes. Alright, so... Over here, this project... Oh, another kid needs educating. This is my niece. Next arc of Wallach. No, wait a minute. We want to do low opinion, not high. The prefect? Yes. I'm a falconer. Okay. So let's see. Let's take a look at those Dejour kingdoms. Alright, Baluchistan. So we need this chunk of Baluchistan. Which is now being held by this guy. The first Punjabi ruler that I've run up against. So if we declared war on him, a holy war from Baluchistan. We could grab it right now. How big is his army? That is a pretty impressive army. Oh, and a new auger. You will do. And we want to send him off proselytizing somewhere. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of some of this stuff down here. Oh, these plots. Alright. Culture.
Let's see. The Exarch of Wallachia wants his son to marry my courtier. Yeah, that's fine. All right, before I declare this war, what is the state of things here? Oh, we got a revolt. This guy's revolting again. I think this is the second time he's revolted. Oh, we need a new... Proselytize. There we go. It was fun. Okay, so... Let's take a look at the troop strength. Alright, so you... We can raise 17,000 troops. You... We can raise 1,500. You... We can raise 1,100. It may be worth... 16,000 troops. I could definitely match his army with things... with my forces locally. Arabian Revolt. Oh, I had a daughter. Viviana. She's born in the purple, she's a hunchback, and she's ill, but I think all infants start out ill. War against the Tyria of Exarch Zabak. Revolt on the Raven Revolt League. I'm hosting a grand banquet. Okay, so if we raise the the ships. Probably bring his army in as well. Yes, okay, so that's what we're gonna do. This guy, we're gonna declare war on him. For Baluchistan. Okay, so. What's gonna be the best place to raise his troops? I guess here. And we'll split them down and spread them out. Alright, this guy. We'll raise his troops here. And we'll raise his fleet as well. Except that his fleet isn't big enough. raise his troops. March them there. Alright. Converted. Is that over here? No. Alright, so now we merge these guys up. And they still can't embark. Where can we pull more ships? What about the Nubian fleet? Oh, my half-brother. Oh, my daughter died. Alright, where are we gonna drop... 
15,000 troops. Euphrasia? No. You... Let's see, let's get your army up. Let's get your army up as well. Let's just march those two groups together. Faras has been converted. Very good. Alright, these guys are merged. That should be plenty. Yes. 15,000 troops. I can only support 5,000? 6,000? 7,000? Population of Merv has been converted. All right. Uh, we need to educate the kid. Just send him off to my prefects. Five thousand. I'm worried about splitting these these armies down so much, but I'm not sure I really have too much of a choice. Where is his army? Split this army down, send a part of it here, send a part of it there. Let's swing the ships up here. Ah, military technology points, good. Even though he can bring up 32,000 troops. I'm not sure I'm going to have enough. He's not from these guys. Well, I can raise up 50,000 troops from, from that vassal right there, so... If things get, get crazy, we have more than enough. Load these guys up on the boats. I need to drop them somebody somewhere. Let's drop them over here. Oh, oh! There's his army. There's his army. Everybody, merge up. one of these came back. I didn't notice. Ah, Grease did. What's the opinion map look like? 
None of them really like me at all. What about you? All right, let's grant him the vice royalty. He took a whole bunch of attrition. Yep, that's fine. Alright, let's get my army together because I want to destroy his army, or at least a significant portion of it. He's coming to me. We're both taking nasty attrition, just trying to move. All right, looks like we got him. All right, good. We destroyed his army that army anyway. Let's see if we can knock out the rest of it. Alright, let's get everybody together and then we'll split it all up. I was trying to teach a thick-headed peasant of Byzantium to use siege weapons and one of them dropped a boulder on my foot. I got wounded. Alright, so let's bring these guys together now. Let's see. We can hold 6,000 here. Um, Alright, let's split it down. Let's split it down. Send the armies out to begin sieging the territory down. And that should have knocked out most of his army. Yes. Most of his army has been destroyed. Yeah, we have the largest army on the planet right now, but the problem is, is that trying to wield it in any strength is difficult with the supply mechanics. Actually, can you... No, it's gonna cause attrition all over the place. Oh. Get in there, get in there. That's oh, still not good. Uh, just start retreating. Get my army gathered back together. Victory. Troops and some more troops. Let's 
Let's get there. So actually all these guys can head there. Because that can actually support our army. Oh, this guy's coming down here. We're at the retreat. We'll get the old team together. Oh, I got eight thousand. Gotta build our army up here. We can destroy his army. Alright, can we raise up any troops back from. No, I can't. these guys together and start marching them in. Gonna take some attrition on the road, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Yeah, we lost the siege. Inherited despot of Nikea. Let's take a look at that opinion map. Excellent. Let's see. We will give. Let's see. Grant him the vice royalty. Yes. And his liege is in prison? Ah, uh, let me see. Um, you. We'll grant you the vice royalty. Send that off. I'm not a fighter of any kind. Why am I leading troops? Stop leading troops. Seeking a tutor. Alright, we are... Just barely winning. Oh, and we captured him in battle. Perfect. War is over. Oh, that was pretty rough. What happened there? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay, okay, so let's hand that out to somebody here. No, we don't care about that. Uh, culture, culture, culture. Don't, yes. Great house, no. You will do. Grant landed title. Luchistan, send it. I still can't create those kingdom titles. No, I can't.
What is this? Okay. Uh, let me just take a look at my vassal map here, make sure that... There's all kinds of mess going on here. Oh, and there's a revolt. A Greek revolt. Diplomatically refuse. Of course, I will come. All right. So you've hit this mountain range here. We've got these two kingdom titles that we can create. We need to wait until we've ruled for five years. And I need to have some kids. Good traits. Perceptive. Strong. is the only trait there that's really interesting. No, but if it gets to be a problem, we're going to have to find uh, someone who... Uh, the prince and my aunt. Okay. Research military tech. Oh, even like a thousand men get in there and crush it, crush those raiders. Oh, they got on the boats. The Zoroastrian heresy has appeared in the province of Maimana. Bliss. Okay, so where's this Zoroastrian? Here? Nope. Here? Yep, right there. Oh, we inherited the despot of Nikea again. Uh, what do the vassals look like? Let's grant the vice royalty to that guy. Yep, we'll adopt the marshal's ideas. Ah, we can hold a grand tournament. Let's do that. Let's send all of the armies back home. Okay, we just need to, you know, kill a little bit of time so we can get these, uh, these kingdom level titles created and handed out, and then we can continue our expansion. Oh, I got the Craven trait. Oh, crud. So I ran away from that fight because he doesn't have any combat training at all. 
Should never have been on that line in that battle. We inherited the despotate of Azerbaijan. Okay. Educate the child. Let me recruit. Nope, we will be watching from the stands. Uh, tragically wounded. Bunch of people got wounded. Alright, we'll grant him the vice royalty of Azerbaijan. Send it off. After months of gentle but firm counsel by Marikios, you are now no longer a laughingstock amongst your peers and subjects. Your skill at presenting yourself has increased considerably, and you can now command attention with your presence and words. Hear ye my words. Lose a trait naive appeaser and gains a trait gruff diplomat. Oh. So we got killed. We request that promotion. Most unfortunate. Yep, we're now Perseus. Most unfortunate. Let's study some war technology. The military tech. Tragically maimed, killed. Killed. Okay, family first. Okay. More maimed and killed. Most unfortunate. Agatha's Augusti Adrianos II of Tripoli has been crowned the winner. Man, there's just tons of people getting maimed and killed. I think that the larger and larger my empire becomes, the more and more and more people are actually participating in the tournament. And so the more and more people get injured. Oh. Eudoxios. The Prince of Syria, Palestinia. One second place. Marshall, there we go. Research some military tech. We got some more diplomacy. That's always good. We'll allow the duel. Now we'll look at over here is what we are going to do. These are kings. We got Punjab and Sindh. Then we'll get the old team together. I grab these two here. So I want to do next. Oh, now we can create those titles, it looks like. Kingdom of Baluchistan, create it. And the Kingdom of Afghanistan, create it. And then what we want to do is give it out to one of these guys, grant vice royalty, Afghanistan, send it off. My wife is pregnant. 
And you, we will grant the vice royalty of Baluchistan. Send that off. There we go. Some random dude and somebody else, which it just got canceled. Um. All right, we got a whole bunch of things to hand out here, and actually, we're at a point where we're going to go ahead and we're going to end this episode here. So, we were to grab a little bit more territory. That was a pretty hard fought war because we were just kind of trying to do it with minimal troops um, and hopefully these kingdoms will grow to be more powerful and be able to command much larger armies so it'll make taking India easier so hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching and go ahead like subscribe and comment and I'll see you next time